There are questions this evening about the safety of those body scanners being used at the nation's airport. Yeah, questions like, do they expose TSA workers and passengers to unsafe levels of radiation? In tonight's top story, Gary Nuremberg is here with what is now an uncertain answer. Gary? Well, uncertain, Derek, because some prominent scientists say there just isn't enough data, hasn't been enough testing to demonstrably prove the machines are safe. The government says the scanners are safe, but documents secured by the Freedom of Information Act have raised questions. We think that the Department of Homeland Security has not been forthcoming with the public about the true extent of radiation risk uh, with the airport body scanners. He points to a National Institute of Standards and Technology memo. Saying that the Department of Homeland Security had overstated that agency's support for the program. The union representing TSA workers wants dosimeters to measure the radiation workers are exposed to, but that has been denied. In Boston, a union memo cites a growing number of workers diagnosed with cancer. We certainly feel that the program should be suspended uh, pending an independent investigation. We In a letter to the president's science advisor, university professors agreed, saying safety tests of the machines were performed by the manufacturer and questioned the science of the safety studies. They conclude important information has not been provided to the public, saying there is still no rigorous hard data for the safety of X-ray airport scanners. Dr. John Sadat telling Nine News Now, we do not know what the dose is. The dose can be a lot higher than they say it is. If you go through, you're taking your chances, he says. TSA issued a statement saying it has implemented stringent safety protocols to ensure that technology used at airports to screen people and property is safe for all passengers as well as the TSA workforce. Each individual machine that uses X-ray technology is regularly tested to ensure the radiation emitted falls within the national safety standards. Despite those assurances, those scientists and Rotenberg from the Electronic Privacy Information Center want independent tests of the machine outside Homeland Security, and they want a moratorium on their use until those tests are conclusive. Now, what machines are we talking about? In general, if the scanner revolves around you or if you're told to raise your arms to be scanned, that's the technology at issue. Anita.